All right, getting into it. He is going the dock. Now, here's the thing. I will state this much. Ace has played my dock. Ace says I play like a crackhead. This Dr. Mario hits way harder than mine. So let's get into it. Everything you just said is very correct. Yep. And getting into it right here. We're already seeing crazy movement coming out here from Jazzar. And trying to go up there for the cape, that would have been pretty funny. But like this, percents are even. And this is kind of why this gets really scary. Oh my god. Yeah. The, these characters will hit so hard. Oh, uh, that's scary. Ace isn't gonna... Yes, he is. He is going to end your life. And he has his jump. He's not wow. dead. <laughs> Indeed. And there we go. Not gonna save you from several hits. Harry. Oh. Oh my gosh. Ah, uh, but that one's gonna connect. Not gonna kill though. All right, very good mix-up there with the wall jump, but Ace just going to hold the shield the whole time and just take the kill there. So Ace still in this, but, I mean, this is this is kind of the funny thing. Like, Shota's hit like a truck. We know that. But Doc hits very hard. Oh, my gosh. He was at, he was at 50 before he died. He, he got hit three times. That's fine. He's, he's okay with taking that hit. Backer. Oh. Put some back on stage and actually, unfortunately, yeah, I was expecting a neutral air out of that instead of a jump, but hey, here we are. Down B coming out and gonna just up B out of that. So that's something I'm gonna take note of is just mashing up B out of combos because that thing's like free and three. Something stupid. And like this, we're seeing Jazzar just keep the pressure here. Gonna get that back air. Another back air, not the strong hit. And Ace not gonna make it back. Very good showing here from Jazzar with the dock. Game one. All right, so where do you think Ace is gonna take him? I mean, that's a very good question. This is this is not like I don't know necessarily a stage that's bad for Doc, that's good for Ken, if that makes sense. I mean, maybe maybe PS2 because of how big it is that he can kind of get away from Doc, but that doesn't. That doesn't do much. These two these two guys want to punch each other in the face. And they're both going to yeah. kill off the top relatively He's consistently. Um, yeah, let's go and have them get back into it. I'm ready. Three, two, one, Ace go. loves Smash. He does. He indeed does. Um, this is what he would argue really good stage for Ken. I mean, the thing is that Ken cannot uh, full hop onto that platform, so he can actually do full hop aerials under that platform, and that's very, very strong aerials. But like we're seeing out of this, I mean, these guys are just hitting hard. Now, from what I've seen from Jazzer's dock in the past, like, he, he did not do this many dares before, but he's, he's going in hard with them. Like this, I mean, percents are climbing, but we also know, like, one good combo here into a shore, you will kill. But at the same time, you don't want to be out there. Oh my gosh. And there it is. Again, that up B is so fast, and it's it just hits so hard. I do that. Oh my gosh. And he doesn't get the strong hit on that thing. And like this, just that momentum. Momentum just not going there. Doc just hitting again. Just, just covering where Ken is going to be. Okay. 
That's uh, that's not what I expected, but I think he just capitalized on the fact that he knew he was going to land on stage with lag, so just hit him with the forward air. That up throw, up throw goes into a tech chase on Smashville. You can get a down air jab reset on that thing. That's interesting. What? Okay, Jazzer. Okay. All right, now nah, sad face, our I'm DNA. I'm like a minute behind, but what the hell was that? Uh, exactly what we were saying before. Like, yeah. How does Jazzar make Doc look like Doc is better than Doc is? Have you seen Mabel? Yes. I'm saying what I'm saying, having seen Mabel. I understand. After seeing Mabel, it's like, this character can't be a mid-tier because of what they're doing. Like, it's it's kind of nuts. They're, they are shattering the mold on what people think this character is. Hmm. The unfortunate thing, I'm looking like RDNA going to get DQ'd out of losers. Uh, we're going to see what happens on that front. If he ends up checking, if he ends up uh, messaging us and saying that he was just updating, then we'll we'll reset that match. But we, I would kind of disagree. We will see. Getting into the air. We got Ryu coming up here. Uh oh. Doc got his theme music. I love it. It's so freaking hard, man. Yeah. Carrying the everything, because why not? Oh, uh, up B to on the other direction. And. Dang. the down smash. Slow shot is up there, sending them at a very weird angle. Yeah, Choco, I actually haven't written any notes because I just know that these matches are backed up, so I don't have to worry about it. Max Rage Ryu right here. He can kill. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. I'm surprised he didn't up be there and he went for an up air instead. But that is going to take it off the side. No, actually off the top. That was off the top. Dang. They tell that's not even losers' quarters, man. That's uh, that's losers' eights. Oh, tries to go for a forward air there. We're seeing Ace seems to kind of figure some things out, but just the the, the movement and where Jazzer is putting his hitbox is just very very smart here, making it always mixing up what he's doing and making it very difficult for Ace to know what's going to happen next. As well as just a really good reaction. Like, he knew exactly when to hit him out of the Tatsu. This is one of those times where a lot of times when I was uh, commentating in person, I would talk about how the pace of the match, controlling the pace of the match is super important. And usually I would interpret that as, you know, if you're playing a fast character, you need to speed up to a play style that the opponent can't do. But at the same time, sometimes it's about slowing down the match. It's about making sure that your opponent has to uh, change the way that they're going, because if you just make sure that you can react to whatever they're doing, as opposed to them just baiting stuff out, you completely change the way the game goes. Yeah, this is this is one of those instances where we're seeing like right there, he had no reason to go in. Instead, he jumped he jumped away and and was covering different options. Like Jazzar is con consistently covering different options. When Ace gets his hits in, they hit hard. They do, but we're seeing Ace just isn't able to get his flu his uh, flow going here. That is gonna tip. Not gonna get the strong hit. And again, you're doing that up smash to mix up the tempo because he knew that it was it was gonna be safe. Oh, they starting to get something though. It's not over yet. I mean, we saw Ryu at 150 before, almost going Doc. Gonna send it the other way. That would have killed. 44, still scary, but that back throw is gonna do it. He did not need to pummel three times. He was definitely dead. <laughs> but hey, always, always pummel. 
like that. Jazzar doing a swift 3-0 here. We were saying how uh, Ace was doing really quick matches, dude. Like, Jazzar's Doc also also returned the favor. Good stuff.